find the integral of e to the x sine x dx. So the integral of e to the x times sine x with respect to x. So again, you've got the product that you're trying to integrate. So integration by parts is an option. Um, there's no substitution that would obviously help you to eliminate or, or significantly simplify one of these. So we are going to go with by parts. Um, I'm going to just say this is u and this is v or v dashed, sorry, because remember the formula is integral of u v dashed equals u v minus the integral of u dashed v. So you need to pick a u and pick a v dashed. Now, I suppose you could potentially have swapped them around. e to the x is going to differentiate to e to the x and it's going to integrate to e to the x sine x. Um, when you differentiate it, it will actually stay positive. So there, there was potentially an argument for making that the u and that the v dashed, but it, it's a minor, minor thing. And to be fair, once we um, once we consider this negative sign anyway, it's, it's not going to make a lot of difference. So let's just get on with it. So we need to make a little list of everything. So u equals e to the x, which must mean that u dashed also equals e to the x v we don't know yet but v dashed we know is sine x um, v is the integral of sine x with respect to x which is minus cos x because minus cos x would differentiate to sine x so now the integral of e to the x sine x with respect to x equals well it's uv so e to the x times minus cos x, so um, minus e to the x cos x, uh, minus the integral of u dashed v. So u dashed is e to the x, and v is minus cos x, minus the integral of, so minus e to the x cos x dx. So if before I go into this bit, I might just um, deal with this minus minus. So I'm just going to write that out again. So the integral of e to the x sine x dx equals minus e to the x cos x. And then because you've got a negative integral and a negative sign in there, I'm just going to write plus the integral of e to the x cos x dx with respect to x. So you've got a problem because this integral here doesn't look too dissimilar to this here. So um, it's not certainly not something you'll just say, oh yeah, the integral is that. So you can't do that. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go through this process of integrating by parts again. Now I wouldn't recommend doing this uh, more than twice, but sometimes if you do it twice, that there are um, there is a way you can find the integral using the results that you've got. So I, I won't give too much away now, but what we are going to do is we're going to start the process again, integration by parts on this e to the x um, cos x. Now, a word of warning, when you do this with your u's and v's, you need to be consistent. So my u's were the e to the x parts before and the v's were the trig bit, as in the other bit. So what if I was to swap that around now, it could have some disastrous results. So I'm going to be consistent with that. I'm not going to bring in new letters just because I used old ones, but because I think that's probably going to do more harm than good. So we're just going to start with this integral for e to the x cos x. We're going to say u equals uh, e to the x. u dashed must be e to the x. Um, v, we don't know yet, but we know that v dashed is cos x. So that must mean that v is uh, sine x, because sine x would differentiate to cos x, so sine x. So now I'm going to write this whole thing out. I don't want to lose anything. So the integral, the thing we're trying to find in the first place of e to the x sine x sine x dx equals, well it equals this but we've already got, so minus e to the x cos x and then plus now we're into the um, integral bit. So now plus the integral of this, which must be uv minus the integral of u dashed v. So uv is e to the x sine x plus e to the x sine x minus the integral of u dashed v. So 
e to the x sine x dx. Now, it's a shame I didn't get them on one line, but hopefully you can see something interesting. So I'm just going to read that. The integral of e to the x sine x dx equals minus e to the x cos x plus e to the x sine x minus the integral of e to the x sine x dx. Now this, this is what we're trying to find in the first place, but now it's negative. So there's a little trick you can apply here. We can, of this whole thing, if we, if we add the integral of e to the x sine x dx to both sides, so as in if I move this onto the other side, it's going to actually look like this. So it's going to say 2 times the integral of e to the x sine x dx equals everything that was on the right hand side apart from this that's now moved equals um, minus e to the x cos x plus e to the x sine x. Okay, so now this is something, is it, all I want to find is, is that integral. So if I just divide by 2, it's going to give me an expression. I am also going to write these the other way around, just because I don't want to start with a negative. So finally, the integral of e to the x sine x with respect to x equals, so it's going to, I'm dividing by 2, so it's going to be a half times um, e to the x sine x minus e to the x cos x. So actually, I think we can pull an e to the x out as well. So e to the x uh, sine x minus cos x. One more thing, do not forget the constant of integration. So that is quite complicated. And it would be a bit unlucky if you got that, but it is an interesting result. And again, you wouldn't have been able to do that without using integration by parts.